Well, we turn now to that headline about Michael Cohen. ABC News has learned President Trump's longtime personal attorney is likely to cooperate with federal investigators. Our chief justice correspondent, Pierre Thomas, has more on that from Washington. Good morning, Pierre. Amy, good morning. Michael Cohen's relationship with the president is being put to the test. There are indications this morning that he's considering cooperating with federal investigators. Have you talked to Mr. Trump about a pardon? He's under incredible pressure. In April, FBI agents raided Michael Cohen's apartment, office, and hotel room, seizing documents in more than a dozen phones and electronic devices. And now, sources telling ABC News, Cohen is likely to cooperate with authorities. And this morning, word he's parting ways with his own attorneys. Among the reasons, a source says, concern over payment of legal fees. President Trump livid over Cohen becoming a target. So I just heard that uh, they broke into the office of one of my personal attorneys, a good man, and uh, it's a disgraceful situation. The U.S. Attorney for the Southern no. District of New York is investigating Cohen's personal business dealings, including his role in facilitating a hush payment to Stormy Daniels, who claims she had an affair with President Trump. Why did Michael Cohen make it? U.S. Attorney's Office digs into Cohen's close relationship with President Trump. I'll do anything to protect Mr. Trump. Special Counsel Robert Mueller has questions, too. Sources tell ABC News he wants to know what the president knew about Cohen's efforts relating to Russian real estate investments. Cohen has not been charged with any crime. Thanks very much. But Cohen is clearly a target and could face charges based on the prosecutor's filings in the case so far. And he faces a prospect of investigators being able to go through millions of his business records, emails, and other documents, Amy. All right, and Pierre, we're also expecting that much-anticipated Inspector General report of the Justice Department looking at how top officials handled the controversial Hillary Clinton email investigation during the 2016 election. I mean, that's right. We're expecting that report to be released this afternoon. It will lay out the mistakes and miscues of the Justice Department during the final stages of the 2016 campaign. Sources tell us it specifically criticizes former FBI Director James Comey for his handling of the Clinton email investigation, as well as former Attorney General Loretta Lynch. Amy? All right, Pierre Thomas, we appreciate it. Thank you. Let's bring in ABC News senior legal correspondent and analyst Sonny Hostin and former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, an ABC News contributor and a former federal prosecutor. Good morning to you both. And Governor Christie, I'm going to begin with you. If you are President Trump right now, how concerned are you about Michael Cohen cooperating with investigators? Uh, I think this is one step at the time, right? I, I think what's much more likely to have happened and why he may be changing lawyers is he can't pay him anymore. Um, lawyers usually, you know, take, a, take off when they, the check doesn't come in. And I think given three million documents being reviewed uh, from a firm like McDermott, Will & Emery that has very high rates, that's my guess as to what's going on. If I were the president right now, I would just take a deep breath, not worry about that, uh, and let this kind of progress. Let me ask you this. So we know it's a separate case, of course, but can any of the info or evidence that's uncovered in this investigation be used by Mueller in his Russia investigation? Sure. Um, you know, that's, the, that's in the possession of, of the federal government, the FBI, and federal prosecutors in the Justice Department. And so it's not like there's any wall between the two. But remember, the Cohen investigation has been handed off to the Southern District of New York here in Manhattan. Um, the Mueller investigation is separate. For this to get back to Mueller, um, they're going to have to go through the deputy attorney general, through Rod Rosenstein, to get permission to have it go back to Mueller. So there's a lot of steps to happen here, and I think we might just be getting a bit ahead of ourselves on this. Remember one last thing, Amy. To cooperate, you need something to cooperate with. You need to have some information on somebody they're interested in that's corroboratable. Uh, and I don't know that Michael Cohen does. Well, Sonny, let me bring you into this. So what do you think, why do you think Michael Cohen is preparing to cooperate with investigators now? Look, I think that the threat of criminal prosecution can be very, very persuasive. I know I used that when I was a federal prosecutor. Chris, I'm sure you used it as well. It's been persuasive in flipping uh, uh, Michael Flynn and, and, and uh, Rick Gates and George Papadopoulos. I really think that uh, Cohen thought that he would be protected by the attorney-client privilege. And so when you have over three million documents that were were seized during this FBI raid of his home, of his hotel room. Uh, you know, 300,000 of them have now been determined to be discoverable, to be able to be used. I think when you are looking at that kind of paper trail, you have every incentive to cooperate. 
Governor Christie, I know you speak with the White House, you speak with President Trump often. What's the level of anxiety about this right now there? I think it's a lot less than it was even when the raid occurred um, a while ago. Uh, I think that they're much more focused on a lot of other things, to tell you the truth, North Korea and the other things that are going on with the president right now. So I don't detect a high level of anxiety there about it. I think the other thing to remember, too, is that Michael Cohen's charge as a lawyer in the Trump organization, as I understood it, was fairly limited. Uh, it wasn't like he was involved deeply in the campaign. And so there's a, there's a separation there. This is, he was a business lawyer. He was lawyer. his personal attorney, though. Well, he was listen, known as his fixer, well, Chris. That listen, doesn't make a lot of sense. No, I mean, he had three clients, Sonny, I, one I, of which was Donald Trump. I know you've read that in the newspaper, but I actually experienced it. And, and what I'm telling you is that from my experience, his role was rather limited to the business side of Donald Trump's operation and not to the political side Didn't of the he have operation. Didn't business in Russia as well? well? I don't know. We're all going to find that out. Um, what I know is that the media gets really breathless at times, everybody, um, every time there's the smallest development, whether or not they're facts that actually back that up. My only point is this. Um, nobody likes the idea that their lawyer would be cooperating with the federal government if that's where this goes. No one would be happy about that. But on the other hand, we don't even know what he's got to say yet. Um, and probably neither do the prosecutors. So you know, we should relax about it and remember that Michael Cohen's role was a narrow one on the business side. This was not, Don McGahn was the lawyer who ran what was going on in the campaign, not Michael Cohen. Look, I completely disagree, of course. The bottom line is if you have three clients, one of which is Donald Trump, and you are being investigated for possible bank fraud or wire fraud or this hush payment that was possibly made or definitely made to Stormy Daniel, I think the two are inextricably tied. Uh, and, and so an investigation into Michael uh, Cohen certainly could be an investigation well, into we will and, 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 and it could, and it could be an investigation no. into anything else, including his efforts with taxi medallions, his, his own real estate investment. Um, and it's much more likely um, that this guy is getting investigated himself um, than we have any information yet that it involves the president. And I don't know if, 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 if that's true, then why he thought that the attorney-client privilege would protect him. Right. The bottom line right. is he is in the business of being an attorney for three clients. And we will certainly see what he is willing to share with investigators soon enough. Sonny, Governor Christie, thank you so much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.